Okay, so in this problem, the wavelength of our incoming photon is 22 picometers, which is equal to 22 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. And we're told that this means that it has an energy of 56 kilo electron volts. And it's scattered off a carbon target and that the x-rays are detected at an angle of 85 degrees. Okay, and in part A, we're asked to calculate the Compton shift. So the, so the Compton shift is given by delta lambda is equal to h over mc 1 minus cos 5. And in this case, it's the mass of the thing that it's scattering off, and the 85, this is being scattered off electrons. Okay, so we can just substitute our values in. So H, that's 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. The mass of the electron is equal to 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8. And then we times this by 1 minus cos of 85. And when we solve this, we end up with 2.21 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. Now everything up here is given to two significant figures, so we should also give our final answer to two significant figures. So we can write this as 2.2 picometers. Okay, and now in part B, it's asked us for the percentage of the initial x-ray photon energy that's transferred to the electron. Okay, so what we want is the amount, so um, amount of energy on electron over initial energy of the photon. Okay, so the amount of energy on the electron, that's going to be the energy lost by the photon because that's where that energy comes from. So if we call E the initial energy and E dash the final energy of the photon, then this is how we can write this expression mathematically. Okay, so rather than using E equals HF, because we've got wavelengths, we'll use E equals HC over lambda. So we'll substitute that in here. So the initial energy of the photon is given by HC over lambda. The final energy of the photon, now we've worked out how much the photon's wavelength changes, and because it's losing energy, the wavelength is getting longer and it's getting longer by this shift here. That's what the shift is. It tells us by what amount the photon's wavelength has changed. So the final energy of the photon is given by hc over lambda plus delta lambda, because this is the final wavelength of the photon. And this is over hc over lambda. Okay, now you can see we've got hc on the top everywhere. So these are going to cancel out. And then to simplify this, it helps if we multiply the top and the bottom both by lambda. So here we'll have lambda over lambda, and then we'll have minus lambda over lambda plus delta lambda. And on the bottom we'll have lambda over lambda, which is just one. So this is one, that's one. So we can write this as one minus lambda over lambda plus delta lambda. Okay, so We'll simplify this algebraically by making lambda plus delta lambda a common denominator. So then we've got lambda plus delta lambda, that's this one, and then we need to minus lambda. So that will cancel, and we end up with delta lambda over lambda plus delta lambda. And now we have everything. So lambda was 22 picometers and delta lambda is 2.2 picometers. So now we can just substitute in. So this is 2.2 over um, 22 plus 2.2. Now, because everything's in picometers, I don't need to worry about converting my units. Could if I wanted to, but I save time by not doing it. So then I solve this on the calculator and I get 0, 0.0. 91 
and that is equal to 9.1%. I multiply by 100 to convert it to a percentage, and that's how we solve that problem.